Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. Hamsters are pretty cool. Not only are they really cute, but contrary to their sleepy daytime personas, hamsters are also super energetic during the night. Have you ever seen one of those little dudes run on their wheels? They can easily run for five or more miles every night. That's a lot for a human, much less a couple inch long rodent. It's no wonder that the entire life noggin world is powered by little hamster generators. Yeah, that's a fact. And that fact got Triangle Bob thinking of a very strange question. Could the human world be powered by hamster wheels? It sounds like a random question, and that's because it is, but there's some fun science behind it. Maybe let's start with something small, like what it would take to power your house first before we bite off more than we can chew. What is this thing, a bag of holding? <laughs> That joke was for my D&D heads. According to the US Energy Information Administration, the average American household used an average of a little over 914 kilowatt hours per month in 2018, or around 30 kilowatt hours per day. While it's a little harder to pin down just how much energy a hamster could produce, an older Georgia Tech study gave us a bit of an idea. After hooking up some hamsters to tiny vests with electricity generating threads sewn into them, one of the little speedsters was able to generate 1 20th the power of a AA battery. For comparison, a standard AA battery contains a little under 4 watt hours, or 0.004 kilowatt hours, quite a bit less than what we would need to power a house. So unless you have a giant horde of hamsters to power your house, and I'm not judging here, you're probably going to need a different way to turn motion into power. Like maybe we should be looking at you humans as a power source. While I don't see a bunch of you in giant hamster wheels, and again, I'm not judging, I do see a bunch of y'all going on treadmills and stationary bikes. Why not try and use some of that energy? Again, it's a little difficult to pin down just how much energy you could really generate, but a lone cyclist could probably produce around 0.1 kilowatt hours if they hopped on a bike for an hour. And let's be real, most people would cap out at around an hour. So one person could barely make a dent in the 30 kilowatt hour per day that you would need to produce. That said, theoretically, if you had an army of 300 cyclists, they would be able to generate enough power in an hour for your home to stay lit for a day. Not really a sustainable way to lower your electricity bill when you factor in all the food that it would take to feed your Spartan army. And you're also going to need to find 300 people. I don't even know 300 people and I live in the internet. But I gotta say, it would be a funny experiment. Thank you to Triangle Bob for inspiring this video, and I want to know from you, do you have any questions for me that you want answered? Let me know in the comment section below and use the hashtag DearBlocko so I can find it. Click here to watch this video we did on sleep, and click here to watch this video. Subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video, and click the like button, because it really helps us out. You can also check out the team at Lifespan that powers Life Noggin down in the description. As always, my name is Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, don't forget to keep on thinking.